What's good everybody, it's a YouTube Troy, aka Papa Birdo, and uh, I wanted to do my video on J-Star's Victory vs. Plus, uh, you know, first impressions basically, and I wanted to point out that a lot of misinformation was thrown around about this game when it first came out uh, for the UK. A lot of people were saying that there was no difference between the Japanese version and the PS4 version, except for the fact that there's English text and it's 1080p and that could not be farther from the truth and I'm gonna tell you guys why okay uh, I, I actually didn't play much of the campaign on the Japanese version I play mostly online so I know what, what was wrong with each character uh, and I know what needed to be fixed okay so to give you guys uh, a few primary examples here uh, Big, Vegeta's big band attack used to do 50% damage, if not 40, okay, because I don't want to force it either. It was between 40 and 50% damage. And basically, it's a regular super attack, guys. It's, it's press forward in circle, and then the big band attack will come out. And people would use that to their advantage, okay? They would just spam that shit and then kill you because it does so much damage, why not do it, right? And then now, on, on, on Victory versus Plus, it doesn't do that much damage. It only does like 20% damage or 15%. Basically, it does the same amount that it should have done on, on the Japanese version, right? It, it does a regular amount of damage, so now nobody can complain about it. And, and Vegeta has a little bit more balance because of that. Now, the next thing is infinites. Uh, a lot of the infinites were uh, removed from the game, right? A lot of characters had infinites on the Japanese version. To, be, to give you guys a, a good example was um, Medaka, Luffy, let's see who else had an infinite, uh, Freeze had an infinite, uh, but I cannot confirm whether Freeze's uh, infinite was removed because I, I have played as Luffy, I have played as Medaka, but I haven't used Freeze. I really don't give a fuck about him, so I haven't really used him, uh, but I can guarantee you guys for the most part that those infinites are gone, you know? The infinites are gone, and they did fit other things uh, that were that was wrong with the hitboxes. To give you guys another sample, was gone, right? Uh, Gun's ultimate has two attacks, okay? So the first one is he sends you flying. The second one is his main attack, which is the rock paper scissors, right? And when Gun sent you in the air on the Japanese version, for some odd reason, the second hit wouldn't connect, which is the main ultimate, by the way, uh, the rock paper scissors. And now that's fits in the, on Victory vs. Plus, that's, that's completely fixed. I actually landed the ultimate, you know, multiple times. I not once missed it. Or, or, or unless I missed... Uh, I said missed, I'm sorry. Unless I missed the first hit, uh, I didn't really miss the ultimate. You know what I'm saying? And that's good. That's really good. They made a lot of improvements in, in those little ways, okay? If you guys didn't play J-Stars... Uh, Victory versus on, on the PS3 version when it came out in Japan, right? Like if you didn't import it Then you would see this game as a refreshing game, okay? Because it's a good game to play with the squad, man If you guys have a squad anyways, it's a good game to play with the squad uh, It's a lot more fun by a million times, okay? If you play with friends Because you're interacting with them, you're laughing It's, it's almost like a party game when you think about it, right? Like you have more fun playing with a group of people as opposed to just playing with random people online that you're not talking to, interacting to in any way. You know what I'm saying? So, basically, that's my first impressions on GA Stars. Uh, it's a good game. It's actually better than the Japanese version because I, I mentioned the fits. Uh, there are other characters who I suppose they fit uh, as well, but because I don't use them by any means, I can't really confirm that right now. I might come back and, and you know, kind of reiterate on, on all the things that they might have fits but you know I just gave you guys the examples that I know of okay um, there are some characters that are overpowered as fuck or that were overpowered as fuck on PS3 that they didn't fit at all on the PlayStation 4 like like Psyche uh, or Jaguar Jaguar is a support character by the way uh, he throws ramen at you and stuns you for a very long time and blinds you by the way um, but they, they didn't fit him they didn't fit um, what was it? Uh, what's the name of that of the dog? I don't know if it's called Kagura. I think it's Kagura. Yeah, uh, they didn't fit the name of the dog. Well, I said the name. My bad. They didn't fit the actual dog because 
Uh, for those of you guys that, that play J Stars, you know that there's a fucking dog support uh, from Gintama that basically he runs you over multiple fucking times and he keeps you locked in and, and it's really annoying. Like, it's really broken. Uh, but other than that, man, the game has a lot of fixes and it has a lot to offer if you're a first time player, okay? If you didn't import the game from Japan, the game has a lot to offer, all right? So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I will be doing more J-Stars when I find a squad. I just haven't really found a squad yet because my old squad hasn't gotten it for PS4. With the exception of Ken Otaku, I believe. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm out, guys. I'm going to go do some Storm 4 commentaries now. And uh, hopefully you guys will like that as well. Peace.